Well, good day, guys, and welcome back to the Boomerang Biker Channel. One of the questions that comes up all the time is how do I take power from my motorcycle battery or how do I feed power back in, maybe to charge it up overnight? I use that with uh, a little gadget called an SAE connector. That stands for Standard Automotive Equipment. Now I've had a look on YouTube and uh, the internet and I couldn't find any decent videos that shows how that fits to the BMW 1250 GS Adventure. If you've got an Adventure and you want to fit one of these cables then stay tuned to the video. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the SAE connector. As you can see, this one comes with a waterproof cover, which is quite handy. On the other end, it comes with the standard battery ring terminals, one for the negative and one for the positive, obviously. Now, this actually came free when I purchased my mini uh, tire compressor, but actually what I did was take it a step further. I dis regarded this one and I purchased another one with an inline fuse and I'll show you that when I show you where it's installed on the bike. So that's what I use to take power out and then I can also put power back into the battery with my trusty Optimate that I've had for something like 25 years. I've just converted the end of it so that I've got the SAE terminals on there as well. Okay, we'll move the camera, we'll take off the side panel on the bike and I'll show you how I've installed the SAE connector. So we'll start by taking off the side cover and that's held on by one small Torx bolt. So we'll take that out and just be careful, it's not a captive bolt so watch you don't lose it. Um, we just unclip the side panel from there. Now, as I already mentioned, my SAE cable connector is already connected to the bike. It's already installed, so I'm not going to undo that just to show you how to uh, add it back on. What I'll do is uh, I'll hold up the one that I showed you earlier that came with the compressor. You can see it's got the two terminals. So, as always with 12 volt, uh, assuming there's nothing on there, you always disconnect your um, negative or the earth first okay under your terminals connect the positive tighten that up and then connect the negative or the earth from there what i did was take this and i actually used the old cable tie trick i just used a cable tie with a bit of electrical tape fed the cable tie through and then pulled the cable or SAE connector through the frame. I'll move the camera slightly just so you can see. Now you've got two options at this point. You can see that my connector actually lives under the seat so it's nice and safe out of the way and it drops in a little recess just in there. Now lessons learned if you've got a lot of luggage on and it's not quick release you need to remember that you can't get at that connector without taking off the seat. So what you could do in that instance is actually cable tie it to the frame or even better use one of these small hook and loop bands and fix that wherever you want it to be. So you can get at, at that quickly if you need to. All right, we'll uh, put the side panel back on, put on the seat and we'll do a, a quick summary. Well, there you go. That's a five minute install that anybody can do without any electrical knowledge. Just one thing to remember, if you do use your bike battery to power up auxiliary items, be careful not to flatten the battery. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to start the bike. Typically, if I'm using my compressor to inflate the tires, I leave the bike running until I've finished. Well, hope you found that useful. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to help me grow the channel. Thanks again for tuning in. Ride safe and have a great day.